Good evening, ladies and gents. Welcome to tonight's highlights of the Telford Tigers versus the Hull Pirates. Good evening, ladies and gents. We're here tonight with uh, Telford Tigers owner, Mr. Mike Washburn. Good evening, Mike. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. Looking forward to the game tonight. Um, how are you feeling about the two teams and how well they're doing at the moment? Well, I think, uh, you know, we pushed hard last year to get two teams. We've got the new national tier. That team's looking great. We've got a development team behind it. The guys have um, had a tight, a tight start to the year in T2. Um, came good at the weekend. So really, in terms of the future, always wanted that national tier, always wanted the development, got the juniors behind us. So all things being equal, yeah, it's looking good. And um, your son's stepping up tonight and playing for D1. How proud are you to, for that to happen? Oh, very proud for, uh, for any of the guys, actually. Not, not, you know, not just Ben, but any of the guys that come through our system that play. Um, I think it's a great opportunity and uh, really looking forward to it. Just one more question. How do you find the time to fit all the hockey in with, you, with the other stuff you do in your life? Well, there's a real good, a real good answer to this one. I've got a lot, uh, a lot of great people around me and uh, I rely on a lot of good people to take a lot of the strain. Mate, thank you ever so much for talking to us and we'll see you again soon. Good evening. Hi, guys. How are you? Um, tonight's match with Hull Pirates. What's your thoughts? Um, it's going to be tough, I think, with all the injuries we've got. And I think, for me, Tull are one of the best teams in the league. I think they'll probably go on to win it alongside Swindon, up there with Swindon at the end. So you two guys are one of our biggest fans, and I often see that you're at nearly every away match and home match. Um, who's your favourite player for the Telford Tigers at the minute? Scott McKenzie. Scott McKenzie. What about yours, Dad? Yes, I've got to say Scott, haven't I? And uh, Andy McKinney as well for me. He's a, he's a great player. Um, so Scott gets man of the match last night and last week as well, so he's playing pretty well. How do you think he's going to fare tonight against the whole Pirates? I think he'll have a good game. He always gives 100%. You know, um, He always tries his best and he's a fantastic player. He's been with the team ever since we've been coming, so great. Brilliant. How do you think we'll cope with the injuries that we've got still? Um, well, if the last few games are anything to go by, I think they've shown really good grit and determination, so hopefully they can continue that and at least go for the point tonight. Brilliant. Thanks ever so much of uh, spending time with us, and we'll see you soon later. Thank you. Thanks. In a couple of seconds, we're going to ask Sergeant Craig Croskett of the Army Cadet Force to take the ice. Let us remember those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, and all have lived and died in the service of mankind. They shall grow not old, as we are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them.
Right then, starting for Telford, Silverthorne, Howells, Brandon Whistle, Kennedy, and Goodison. Here we go. Face off one by Brandon Whistle. Flicked on by Silverthorne. Into the corner by Finley Howells. Send him in. Yeah, it's a goal! And it's that man again! Scott McKenzie! What a goal from Scott McKenzie. Great start to Elford. And away comes Bonner. Oh, missed past that. And Telford are away again. Here we go. Oh, it's got to be a flick. It's got to be. That's it. He's going. So Lee Bonner takes a seat in the penalty box. Chamberlain now dumps it in. Goodison will chase. Picked up by Goodison. Didn't get it in enough. Saved by Brad Day. Day freezes. So picked up by Goodison. Goodison now shoots just wide of Smith's net. Yeah! And it's a goal by Jed Morland. Is it Jed Morland? It is Jed Morland! And it's picked up by Florian. And Florian's away, two to one, shoots, out, shoot! And it's a goal by Jed Morland again! What a goal! What a goal! For... Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Jed Morland! Smithy, great play, Smithy shoots! Nearly a goal by James Smith. Whistle, shoots the ball. Silverthorne now, back in the air, in, Howells! Just missed by Finley Howells. Great bit of play, Telford. Hull can't deal with them. McKinnon goes in hard and McKenzie sends it away and McKenzie again oh McKinnon's been called for that and he was already falling Chamberlain Six seconds. Can Telford hold on? Can Telford hold on? And Telford hold on. The power play's gone and we're back to five. And is there no other penalties there? The penalty coming. And he scored it on Telford. <coughs> it's 
Put it on. I think it's Brandon Whistle, is it? <coughs> Number 34 for the Telford Tigers. Brandon Whistle receives two minutes for slashing. <coughs> to Telford. Another power play to deal with. And here come Hull. Shots wide. Mitchell now into the corner. Picked up. Great bit of play there. And it's saved by <laughs> Brad Day. It's picked up now by Kennedy. So that's two power plays. Telford have withstood and Hull have got nowhere near. Here come Telford. Brandon Whistle, fresh out the box. And the ref blows. So now Hall have a power play. <coughs> Telford on the power play. Bit of a mistake there by Smithy. Kenzie now looks up out to Kennedy Kennedy to whistle whistle nowhere to go send it in oh Alex McKenzie at the back post again super Scott McKenzie Face off, Silverthorne sends it round. Chamberlain, Chamberlain goes down, says he's been slashed. I didn't see nothing. So, the, the import, the import had a bit of a, a roughing up, and it's, uh, is it Jordan Jolly or? Do we know who's in? And it's away. Great bit of play there. Telford blocked. No, is he saying? Yeah, the ref said, yeah. I thought he blew to say no, but yeah, it is. So it's 4-1. And it's one back. My goodness, oh, he's called it on Goodison.
picks it up. Bobby Chamberlain sends it round. Goodison will pick it up. Hull have got to do something different. And it's in. And it's a goal by Hull. Telford went asleep there. 4-2. And away we go again. Flicked in, blocked by McKenzie. Blocked again, and it's another goal by Hull Pirates. They've scored three goals. They've scored two goals in the third period already. Telford are all over the place. Florian sends it round. Hull, no, referee. So nothing in that, and he went down straight away. We get called the penalty. Saved again by Smith. Silverthorne now, working hard in the corner. Picked up by Brandon Whistle. No, it ain't. Hull still have it. Still, Brandon Whistle. Referee's got his stick round his neck. Referee, surely! I cannot believe the ref didn't call that. And it's a save! And someone's on top! Someone's on top! Picked up by McKenzie. McKenzie will skate. Flory shoots. Save by Smith. Still Florian. Mitchell now. Florian. Florian. And it's going to be still Florian. And the ref has caught it. We've got to keep working. 27 seconds. And it's sent round. And it's away. And Tuffer get a line change. Shoot! Oh, what a save by Smith. That could have been it then. And it's picked up by McKinnon. Back to Danny Rose. Danny Rose now. To Silverthorne. And he was going to blow again, and he never. <coughs> Hull have pulled the netminder. So, Hull have pulled the keeper. And it's away. And it's away. Hull, oh, it's away. Oh, it's a goal by Dominic Florian. Here we go then, here we go, here we go, I think he's going to have it, I think he's going to do it then. Yeah, come on, it's going, come on. <laughs> Here's another one gone. There's another one gone.
Fans aren't happy. Fans aren't happy. Good evening, ladies and gents. We're here tonight with uh, Telford head coach Tom Watkins and man of the match Jack Watkins. So, a three-point weekend. Are you happy? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, tough sometimes when you you have to feel like you've got to win at home on the Sunday after you know not getting the points last night, and it adds a little bit of pressure, I suppose, a little bit of spice. Um, but the, the guys were well up to the task. Um, we saw tonight that the guys dug deep and um, played for each other. Were you happy with that? I think they play like that every night and I've said to the guys on a number of occasions I can never criticise their work ethic, I can never criticise their, their competitiveness, I think they've, they've done that every, every game this season, uh, so I'm delighted with you know, the group as a whole, they block shots, they battle, they're, they're playing hurt, they're playing short um, and you know what's nice about tonight is we've got a lot of perhaps young guys that might not be in that situation where you've got a one goal game and you've got five, six, seven minutes to go and you've got to put them on the ice and they, 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 that's, that's good for the future. Um, so 4-1 up and then it goes to 4-3 what was your thoughts then? Don't panic you know manage the game manage the puck effectively uh, stick to our systems and it's dead easy at that, that, that moment to, to feel some, a bit of pressure and make a play that you know in that stage of the game you, you shouldn't make so uh, stick to your systems like I say and you know really focus on doing the little details at that point so I think at that point I was probably the calmest person in the building trying to make sure the guys on the bench remain calm um, and you know what they did they, they, they managed the puck well they managed the last seven minutes all a good team they've got a lot of offense um, we, again we ran into penalty trouble so um, I suppose we give a, a little bit of a door opening but the guys have stood up to the task can I ask one question so from where we are up there on the top of the stands we witnessed tonight uh, a player of Hull throwing a stick literally across the ice trying to take out one of our players is is there a, a rule against that or not? Yeah if, uh, if Dominic had missed it would have been an automatic goal right. so the, the explanation the officials gave to me was he threw the stick from the ice pad um, if you throw your stick it's an automatic goal so if he missed it would have, uh, it would have counted as a goal but generally overall great weekend for you, happy one on the road, two at home, that's all you can ask for I think at the moment, you know, I think uh, with, a, with a full roster, I think we're a really formidable lineup. Um, and credit to the boys, another three point weekend. Uh, nice to make sure that we get back on the winning, winning trail. Brilliant. So we'll bring your brother in now. Man of the match performance tonight. He worked very hard, dug in the corners, battled well, um, won a lot of pucks um, that from Hull that really shouldn't. What's your thoughts on uh, young Jack here? He's not as good looking as me, is he? That's for sure. No, he, he played a heck of a game. He's moved to center. He's, he's got a specific role to play. And uh, we were really pleased with how, how he approached the game. His attitude, the game's always spot on. And he's reliable. And I think reliable um, defensively, you're going to play a lot of minutes. Congratulations, Jack, on man of the match. Um, what's your thoughts on tonight, how you played? Did you expect man of the match or not? I didn't know. Um, there's a few guys who deserved it tonight. I thought Jed played really well. He got dug in, got two goals, stepped up. Um, Nick Oliver played really well as well. Um, everyone as a team, collectively, we all played tremendous tonight. So anyone could have got it, but I'm glad they <laughs> could have got it tonight. So um, did you expect Hull to come out and play hard? Yeah, Hull play hard every week. Uh, they're a tough team to play against. They're a really good team, so they're going to be competing for the championship as well. So it's good to beat Hull. What do you think? Let's Hull down at the minute. I just think we worked harder. We played. We played better tonight. So I think we outclassed them tonight. Um, obviously, at the end, it got a bit feisty. What were the guys saying on the bench? Just, just everyone keep working up. hard. Yeah, stick up for each other. Um, so we're still a few men down with injuries and that. Um, any news on them coming back, or don't you know? I don't know. No. So overall, you're happy with the man of the match performance tonight? Yeah, very happy. And we are as well. Right. Have a great weekend, young man, and we'll see you soon.